Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to talk about a sampler today um, with you guys that I purchased from Midnight Daydream. Um, we all know that Harrison owns Midnight Daydream and he's amazing. Not only does he do wax, he also does those like crazy stuffed cookies that are full of all amazing things. <clears throat> I have yet to order any of those, but I'm sure I will sometime soon. But what I'm bringing to you today to talk about is his horror movie night sampler. This, you guys, I was so excited for because he listed it. Let's see which day. I'm on his Instagram right now. Midnight Daydream Wax Co. Um, he listed this on September 10th and said it was coming out October 2nd. And it came out with six different scents. So that's what I'll be talking about. Plus um, two little samples that I got. Um, so it was so cute how he announced it. This little sampler like this. I just really enjoyed that. Um, I feel like I often don't get to order from Midnight Daydream because for some reason, you know how some vendors like your life somehow doesn't like align with their restocks or things like that. That seems to happen with me in Midnight Daydream and I don't know why, but I do like his wax. Um, so let's get started on this sampler. Like I said, there are six cents, but I did get two samples. So I will talk about the samples first. Okay, so the first sample is Blueberry Pumpkin Milkshake. Uh, which is Stroop Waffle Milkshake and Blueberry Pumpkin Patch Type. Um, it's in her, this, these little cups. Uh, once again, sorry guys, I have the autofocus on, but it does what it wants. <laughs> so uh, this was poured on September 18th of this year, and you, could, I definitely get that Stroop Waffle first because I get really sweet bakery first. But there is the, uh, as I'm smelling on the bottom of the cup, Definitely that blueberry pumpkin patch, which um, I've said many times before, I'm not a blueberry fan in wax much at all, but I love blueberry pumpkin patch type. Um, if it's the right blueberry and it's mixed with the right bakery, I can like it. So I do like that one a lot and it does smell really strong. The second sample is Barber's Sweater, which is barbershop and sweater weather, um, which I love both of those oils very much. So I am excited to melt that one. Oh, interesting. I'm actually not smelling very much sweater weather at all. Or like barbershop. I wonder if just the scents together have made it a completely different scent. Unless he just has oils that don't smell like the um, the sweater weather in the barbershop that are used kind of by other vendors. Um, but that smells really good. It smells more so like... Um, like a green, like a fresh green scent. I don't know, but yeah, it doesn't smell like the sweater weather that I am used to, but it smells good. Okay, so the first one of the sampler out of the six is called The Ring, and this is Sugar Cookie Dough and Bear Claws. Now remember, these are based off horror movies, um, and so this one is The Ring, and we all know that movie and the creepy girl crawling out of the well. Uh, so Sugar Cookie Dough and Bear Claws. Now, I have kind of already sniffed these, and one thing that impressed me with this scent is <clears throat> I have a hard time smelling sugar cookie dough in almost any vendor's blends at all. This legitimately smells like sugar cookie dough. Um, Bear Claws, I know, is kind of like a spicy bakery, right? I'm not getting too much spice, but there is a touch of that in here. This mostly smells like a very decadent sugar cookie and I actually really like it because I'm excited that I can actually smell that sugar cookie dough. It's not just like a generic sweetness. It really smells like that. So I'm uh, you know, excited to try that one. This one was poured uh, September 25th. So they should be ready to go here. All right, this next one is Freddy versus Jason. Coconut pumpkin macaroons. Seems like if I pull back sometimes it'll focus. Maybe not. Okay. Um, so let's give this one a sniff. Coconut pumpkin macaroons. Oh, I definitely, I get pumpkin first. It's definitely like a spot, like a pumpkin spice first. Sorry. The air force air force jets are flying over. I'm not getting too much coconut, maybe a touch, maybe on warm arms. I'll smell it more. It mostly to me, it smells like pumpkin spice and almost like pie crust. Coconut pumpkin macaroons. It almost smells like a sweetened pumpkin pie 
with like a stronger pie crust note. It's kind of what that smells like to me. So it smells really good. Uh, Freddy versus Jason. So I like that a lot. Okay, the next one is the Blair Witch Project. Candied apples, country spice, and pomander. I don't even know why I'm trying to focus these for you guys, but I've read you the notes, but there we go. Um, so let's take a sniff. Hmm. Oh man, that smells good. I love the smell of pomander, so pomanders. So I actually get the spice the most. It's not crazy spicy at all, because the candied apples is definitely in there and, and it has it sweetened up. Ooh, this might be my favorite one so far. Because it has that touch of citrus from the pomander. Definitely country spice. And candied apples. Wow, this is like... This isn't, even, this isn't even necessarily fall to me. This is like holiday. Like just holiday. Like happiness. Like this smells like you're walking into like a family holiday party. It almost smells more Christmassy to me than it does fall. But it could really pass for either. Mmm. I love that one, the Blair Witch Project. That's my favorite one so far. Okay, the next one is the Silence of the Lambs. Red wine, plums, and berries. Now, this is the one that when he released the list of scents and notes that I was most excited for because I love plums and I love the smell of red wine and, and berries. So I was really excited for this one. So Silence of the Lambs. And mm, so altogether, those notes don't, it is fruity, but it's a dark fruity, which, you know, I expect with red wine, plum and berry, but it almost has a body carish vibe to it. It doesn't smell gourmand or drinkable. Like it doesn't smell like a, a deep red wine. It almost has, you know, Bath and Body Works Midnight Pomegranate, but without the sweet edge this is beautiful i would wear this as like a body lotion or a perfume in the fall it's almost like a deep fruity but rustic scent without without sweetness and i really like it that smells really really good um if i had to say i would sm i smell the red wine the most but it doesn't smell alcoholic really and there's a deep plum and berry in there for sure, but it's not sweet or juicy. It's like the darkness of each fruit with a little bit of body carish vibe to it almost. I like that a lot. That smells really nice. Okay, two more. Okay, this one's called Carry. Butter, rum, allspice, toasted marshmallow, and zucchini bread. Okay, so that's, this one's probably going to be really sweet with that butter rum. Mmm. Interesting. The first thing I smell automatically to my nose is almond. Toasted marshmallow, zucchini bread, buttered rum, and allspice. So maybe buttered rum, toasted marshmallow actually is kind of what I get second. Then maybe zucchini bread, and I'm not smelling very much allspice at all. This is very, yeah, I think I mostly get buttered rum and like almond almost. Mmm, it's very comforting. Yeah, I like that one. I th I'd say, yeah, buttered rum, toasted marshmallow, and almond is, is what I'm smelling. Very different. I like how each one of these smells very different from the next. Okay, this is the last one. This one's called Scream. Pumpkin Cider and Haunted Hayride. So this one, I'm always excited when there's notes, like hayride notes, because it just gives things such a realistic feel to it. Oh, whoa. Pumpkin cider and haunted hayride. That is very grassy. This is almost like a grass cologne. Like a deep, like a dark grassy cologne. I don't smell any pumpkin cider at all. I can definitely see why this would be called Haunted Hayride, though. This is like a deep, spooky, you smell grass, it's dark outside, it's smoky. Not smoky, this is not smoky. Not smoky, but humid, almost. Like, the night you're out there, there's a lot of, like, humidity in the air. 
and it's dark and woodsy with lots of grass. <laughs> it's definitely deep and dark and cologne, like it's a cologne-y. I'll probably melt this in my room. This one's like it's gonna be really strong. That is nice. I, I like masculine cologne scents, so that is really nice. So let me just tell you, so those that was six cups, six two ounce cups. Um, and did he list the price on here? What did I pay for this? Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Um, I know it wasn't very much money at all. So yeah, six, six, two ounce cups. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, of course it doesn't say it on there. Hold on. If I can find the other one. Oh, okay. So six, two ounce cups were tw was twelve seventy five. That's not bad at all because you can get two to three melts out of each of these. And then obviously I paid shipping. So, and I bought it on October 2nd and I got it, I get it, uh, yesterday or no Saturday. So I actually got it like within two or three days. It was super fast shipping. So I am really into this. Um, my last sampler that I got from him was like a bakery sampler and I am getting more into bakery, but it was not my favorite because to me, all of it just kind of smelled sweet and I wasn't able to really differentiate the different bakery notes in it very well. But these are all very different from one another. I love the theme of it. I love the notes of every single one. They're all very different. And I'm really excited to get to melting these. Um, you guys can see me melt them and write little reviews on each one, um, like throw and what I'm smelling on warm and all that stuff on my Instagram page at Danny Loves Wax all together, all lowercase. Um, and so you can see what I'm thinking about these if you guys want to. Um, Harrison, great job on this. These, this was right up my alley and they're all beautiful and all amazing. So thank you. Um, anyways, I will be doing a couple other videos today, so stay tuned, um, stay well, um, enjoy the weather that's cooling off if it is in your area, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!